Daniel chapter 2, verse 46. Daniel 2, 46. That's where we had gotten down to. Remember last time was the weird, weird stuff that uh, we're studying about the angels coming down and mingling themselves with the seed of men. So Daniel has explained the successive kingdoms that will come on the earth which eventually will be destroyed by our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ at his second coming. Of course, that's the stone. And then when, da when Nebuchadnezzar heals, hears all that stuff, he says in verse 46, Then the king Nebuchadnezzar fell upon his face and worshipped Daniel and commanded that they should offer an oblation of sweet odors unto him. An oblation is an offering. The king answered unto Daniel and said, Of a truth it is that your God is a God of gods, and a Lord of kings and a revealer of secrets, seeing thou couldst reveal the secret. Remember, he had not even told him what the dream was. So that's why he's impressed. So now these two verses are a bit of an odd combination. Some people, based on those, contend that uh, Daniel allowed Nebuchadnezzar to worship him, uh, based on that here. And the reason is because you do not read that Daniel rejects the worship. Whereas in other places where people attempt to do that, you almost always read that the person being worshipped stops the worship. So if you remember, Paul and Barnabas said, don't do it. Peter said to Cornelius, don't do it. And then the other possibility that it's maybe Daniel did accept it, at least momentarily, is that uh, he's, I believe you'll see that at the end, that he's the angel that reveals some things to John in the book of Revelation. And when John comes to worship him, but even if it's not Daniel, when John comes to worship him, also he says, don't worship me. Here, you don't read, you don't read that he says that. So that's not enough of an evidence. I'm not saying he did accept the worship. I'm just saying it's odd that you don't read that he stops him. W later on, when his grandson is going to offer gifts to Daniel, Daniel says, keep your gifts to yourself. I don't want them. And the other thing is, is that you guys remember in Daniel chapter um, 3, in the next chapter, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego are cast into the furnace of fire. And the big question is, well, where's Daniel in that story? Right? So you put those two together, it's, it's, it's a bit odd. It's a bit odd. Uh, you say, well, could Daniel have sinned? Well, of course he could have sinned. Why not? Who's, who's, who's <laughs> if, if, the, if the Bible had never told you that, that, uh, that David committed cold-blooded premeditated murder, not in a fit of rage, cold-blooded premeditated murder and lying, and adultery, you would have a hard time believing it, but it's there. So it, it's possible that the Lord eventually taught Daniel some, a few things uh, through it. Okay, verse 48. I just want to hit the hard stuff. Verse 48. Then the king made Daniel a great man and gave him many great gifts and made him ruler over the whole province of Babylon, which is the chief province, and chief of the governors over all the wise men of Babylon. Then da uh, see that expression, the wise men, the wise men of Mammon. There's a pretty good connection there with Matthew. We can see that in Esther and, and um, Ezra, that the wise men that came from the east in the Bible were wise men from Babylon, in part due to Daniel's testimony. Because here Nebuchadnezzar says, your God is the God, man. And he declares it to his entire empire. Okay, then Daniel, verse 49, requested of the king. And he said, Shadrach, Meshach, and a bungalow over the affairs of the province of Babylon. But Daniel sat in the gate of the king, which is really nice that Daniel does that. He thinks of his friends. He gives them credit. Because remember, he had asked them and begged them to pray with him. And they prayed all night with him. And Daniel is careful not to take all the credit to himself. He says, my friends prayed and helped me. You know, I ask you, O king, if you can promote them too. He didn't forget his friends. 